It's been a year. I am Let's perfectly move. willing to talk with the village anytime. I do think your proposal is separate from what the landscaping plan is currently envisioned. It's a really isn't doing much to the parking lot, as I recall. Mm -mm. It's, it's, but, I mean, there's no harm in talking to them again. I mean, and it doesn't really impact the lot itself. I mean, we're not doing anything to the parking lot. We're not doing anything to the parking lot. I mean, there were trees. I mean, we took those, made, we took those like out. There's small bushes. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not, yeah. There were never big done. trees right. there. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, there, just from sightline things, we would never want big trees there. It's just from a safety Perspective. Yeah. One question: where, What's the intent of the? Who's the letter supposed to go to? I was, I was, I didn't know who wrote this or where it was. Like, yeah, it, I, I wrote it. Right, and I understand that part now. But my question is: Is this, a, is this you wrote a letter that's supposed to come from the board of trustees and then go out to the residents of the city of the village? Oh no, I it thought says, it says it says dear residents. So I wasn't sure who the residents. Where's the, the letter? Board of trustees. So oh, it says dear, it says dear fellow residents. Oh, they are. Our fellow, they're residents, just like we are. The board here. Oh, oh the, yeah. I mean the board of the, the, the yes. city, the village board. Yes. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I mean, look, to my way of thinking, and, you know, the board doesn't have an appetite, that's fine, too. No, I think the board feels very yeah. strongly about wanting to make a difference, and we've tried, and we've done the things I'm based on the to channel. Talk with them. Right, exactly. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that, yeah. It, it, actually, we, annually, we sort of do that. Right. So it's yeah. Last June, we yeah. did. Yeah, like you said, you're kind of new. Right. But it's, it's, this I, is definitely the, this is the number one issue we, as a board, have had is to try to make improve the parking situation for the library. And to date, unfortunately, the, the village uh, has other agendas that don't make them an easy uh, for them make it easy for them to want to partner with us. And again, we've we've had a little bit of progress in the last year. Um, but but nothing to make a material change at this point. But it certainly, be a village-wide yeah. issue. I mean, now yeah. you can tell when you go to Wilmette on a Friday or Saturday night, uh, parking is at a premium, um, and yeah. it's really it's really a village-wide issue. I think we need to address it on a, a village-wide basis. But this, I just I just don't. We really aren't actually doing anything with our lot. That's the thing right now. Yeah, but this, it's always a this good topic to have. Project is not really about the, the parking lot. It's really about the um, the hardscape and landscape around the library itself. Um, because we did do the parking lot itself, our parking lot, a few years ago. And we asked and them we if they would do it with us. Now we need to do a few um, good maintenance things on that. And um, that is one of the beauties of the building and, and the building fund that we do have with the library, is that we're not just talking about doing something that if the village, if and when the village does want to work with us on this, we can actually act fairly quickly versus have to push it months down the line and get a referendum and have to wait another year before a referendum might might pass before we could actually act. So the point is that this actually gives us at least one, it shows our credibility on this issue. And, and as I said, I think I think everybody on the board, our, our top issue, our top priority would be to do something to make the, the parking better. Uh, for the library. Right, and, and I, that, I do yeah. think that before we, we go yeah. to the village board, it's still more appropriate for us to go through their staff. Yes. I yeah. mean, to work through community well, development. Yeah. Either so, that or talk to Belinsky again. Yeah. Last time I spoke to Belinsky and Mike Earl. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there is some virtue of raising it because obviously no, they've got this new lot that they're the dealing rules. with. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what they're, we talked earlier, what the plans are for that lot. But I don't see us in any sense investing a ton of money. And I don't think they'd want us to really touch their lot. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. So if. So why don't, if, if why don't I. If we're, if we're putting something in the parking lot, maybe I misunderstood. Maybe we're not doing we're any not landscaping. We're not doing anything in no, the parking lot. No, we're not doing any landscaping in the parking lot. We, are we doing, talked about putting some bushes we along are where there are bushes right now. For maintaining our parking lot. But one of the things that our landscape consultant pointed out is that there's a significant difference in the elevations of the two lots. Mm -hmm. You'd have to regrade. Unifying regrade. would require dealing with that issue and with the accompanying drainage problems that would come with that. So it's not an inexpensive or a simple task to unify the lots because, you know, there's a significant difference in elevation. What would be required is to, pro is to prepare a proper engineering design to unify the lots. Whether it gains spaces or not isn't the driving issue. 
the problem, quite frankly, is that we've been, I mean, this discussion has been going on since 1986. And, you know, the, we're in about the same place now that we were then, except that we leased 38 spaces from the library, in, or from the village in their, in their lot. Mm -hmm. um, there have, that's the only significant change that's occurred in all of those years. Um, it's not what we would prefer, but it's where we are because we don't control that lot. And the offers we've made have been, you know, rejected. We have, you know, we certainly want to continue discussing it, but so far there hasn't been any willingness to do so. In a, in a way that would result in a significant But I do change. think, you know, since they're doing another lot, and I want to ask to borrow a bar, you rent some of the spaces in that lot anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, we might be able to raise, but the, in general, they just, it's not a conversation they're interested <coughs> in having, mainly because, in all fairness, they, they themselves do not know what direction they want to go. And once because they don't know what they want to do, it's very hard for them to offer to partner with us because you know, they don't know where they want to go. So, but I'm, you know, there's no harm in letting them know annually the way we always do that, hey, we'll take your lot if you want to. We, we've got, ide we've got good ideas. And, yeah, we've got good ideas. Yeah. Lots, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, we'll take yeah. it off your yeah. hands. But there's, no, we should be able to cut a deal to fix up the signage. I can't hear you. We should be able to fix the signage this year. But what, but what do you want to do in the signage? I mean, make it clear. It's, it's a mess. Like, let's make an incremental improvement. And they, you know, changes. So, but I'll, it's I mean, not our, I mean, make, that's what we can you mean I, fix I think, their signs? I think we, yeah, I think we should ask them and make it clear since we're spending our money on making our exterior better right. and cleaner. I think we should consider it part of our of objective to do. But. I clearly am I'm a lone voice on this, and I'm, I'm, well, I appreciate no. the opportunity to raise it. No, no, yeah. you're, you're raising an issue you that know, we've, we've, all, we've all raised. This, you know, well, you're you're actually you're your in line with us, but we all feel the same the way. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah all exactly. Have oh, yeah. Experienced over years on yeah. this subject. I think there's one issue too that we haven't really um, looked at, or that I'm looking at, that I would prefer to wait the few months because it's going to go very quickly to get a new director and have that person deal with the proper person over there and not just have the board try to do it. Well, the only problem with that, Jan, is I sort of would like to sort of figure out what on earth their plans are for that new 30 spaces. It's not a ton mm -hmm. of spaces, but it's not an insignificant number. As I say, if it's, if it's to compute, you know, you know, can we rent some? Is it staff on parking? Is it you know, metered parking for I do feel metric. like, though, we do pay for spaces and that a lot of times they're not used necessarily, that other people use those spaces, mm -hmm. um, as I know from having observed. <laughs> right. um, you make a vantage point, right? Yes. Well, we, we I got really a little need obsessed to address with it, that. And <laughs> there definitely yeah, are right other there. people yeah. in those library spots who are not library patrons. So I feel like we're... Mm. I hate to throw good money after bad. I do feel like we do. We all know we need more parking. We're already spending money, giving money to the village to rent spaces, um, which you know, one government entity giving money to another government entity, tax dollars going from one pocket to another pocket. I'm never sure how much sense that makes. Um, so I wish there was a better mm. solution. Um, but I don't think that, and I, I think if there's safety issues and the signage issues, um, that would be something to bring up with community development because I'm not sure specifically what signage. I mean, I think all those signs are so worn out you can barely it's read them. Mess, yeah. You barely can read them anyway. I mean, I wouldn't blame somebody for parking there because you can barely read that. Oh, exactly. Right. It's not, it's not clear at all. Yeah. So. Um, and yeah. we do get some enforcement, but not not as much as we could have so my understanding is that our prior director did actually 
hike over to the post office and <laughs> is that did that happen? That's, that's it, true. And I think it say, did happen. Get, I think you know, remind them that twice, the yeah. post office yeah. spaces are only those spaces and I, and it right. helped for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, helped, yeah it, it, it always but, helps for a little bit yeah. and yeah. then it's relaxed and then <laughs> then it just goes back yeah. to the post box. Right. So I mean yeah. All right. Um, we should move on. Jan? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, is that it? You know, sort of That's it for landscape. Yeah. Good? Okay. okay. Good. Um, Jan? Okay. Fortunately for all of you, my computer would not compute with what? ILA over oh. this, <laughs> this <laughs> past month. But the only, so the only thing I pulled, and this didn't come from ILA, but it's uh, the library in Harvey, Illinois. I don't know oh, how yeah. there's any of you yeah. read about yeah. that. Yeah. They're in the, dire straits. Did they close? Uh, they they close? Clo no, they didn't close, but they cut the pay oh, of yeah. 14 of the 17 employees from 52 per, uh, hours a week down to I don't know what. It didn't, I couldn't even get this one run across. Uh, run well, but uh, the proposal would eliminate six full-time employees, three of whom are managers, reduce the pay to eight other staffers, seven of whom part-time. What they've done is close it right now for certain time periods, oh, okay. mm -hmm. but they did a major renovation project a couple of years ago, and what's happening, as we all know, we get tax money, and what's happening is that people in Harvey are not paying their taxes, oh, right. Right. Mm -hmm. and so it's like they're getting half the money that they were getting before. And the director earns 88000 a year, but it's a small, smaller library. But it's really, uh, it's an awful situation. And I kept trying to think whether we could help out anyway, but I don't know. You know and we're thankful for our tax payers. Yeah, really. Really. Taxes. <laughs> really. Well, so, their rate is so much higher, too. Right. The rate is higher. Oh, for what we get here, you mean? Poor communities at a higher rate. Yeah. So. Thank you, Jan. Mm -hmm. um, actually, on the similar but different note, uh, we because I asked Cynthia talking about other libraries, we did send uh, the do our donation check to the American Library Association yeah. to benefit mm -hmm. the libraries who were so severely affected by the hurricanes of last year, mm -hmm. just in time for the new hurricane season. <laughs> for them some people could make donations specifically for that purpose. Yes, right. yes. Well, in the fundraising we'll letter, we gave uh, people, we can't donate our own funds, but in our fundraising letter, we gave people the option to have it go to those libraries. Right. But so, really the majority still went to WPO. Yeah. Still went to Wilmette, and that's understandable. Yeah. So, but I was when also pleased that some did not. Since it is late, and you all have been here. Well, and I, I didn't. I mean, this is probably the longest one you've had oh, in a while. Sorry. Is. No, no, not you. That's all right. We'd lost the sign. It was Dan. Yes. yes. So, Stupid ideas. Okay. Um, and there are a few notices and comments. Yeah. I think we've covered everything. If there's nothing else, could well, it, I would oh, yeah, this, this is great, we, this is great feedback. Yes, all in favor? Yeah. There's been a motion. Aye. 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 The meeting is adjourned.